we will look at restoring and recovering a single data file in a, in a pluggable database. So, I am connecting to a PDB. I have a table called my data, it has some data in it. Let me verify what the data file is. Okay, so this is the data file. I am going to corrupt the data file by just overriding the beginning portion of the data file. Just put in some junk characters. Come back to my SQL plus session. This block is still in memory right now. And now I get an error, okay, because it's trying to verify the uh, current image of the block, it's trying to do a current get for the block, and it's not able to read that block. Now remember, this is data file 40. The file ID is global across the whole multi-tenant container database. So, I can do a recovery even at the container database level for a single data file in a pluggable database. And that is what I am going to demonstrate. I am not connecting to the individual PDB, I am connecting directly to the container. Take that file offline first, if it's possible. Okay, so I issue the offline command at the PDB level, but then I do the recovery using the CDB itself. So you can see this is the data file and then do a recover as well. Media recovery applied whatever redo was required. The redo logs are global across the whole multi-tenant container database. So it identifies the records for this pluggable database, this data file and applies those records only. Those redo logs will contain records or entries for multiple PDBs, multiple data files, but this recovery just identifies data file 40 belongs to this PDB and applies only the changes to this data file. That is why data file is physical, it is at the whole container level. Let me go back into the database. And let me see if I can query and insert into that. Yes, I can. I can even if you issue a checkpoint, a global checkpoint if I want to, because now the data file is valid and I can access the data file. Even if I were to close and reopen the data the, the pluggable database,
So I'm reopening the PDB and I connect again. And my records are there. So the data file ID 40 is global across the whole container database. I can restore and recover either by using the rearm commands at the PDB level or at the CDB level. If I do a recovery using file ID, I will always use the global file ID across the whole CDB. If I do a restore and recovery using specify the table space name, I can specify uh, the table space name uh, in the pluggable database or if I connect to the CDB, I can prefix the table space name with the pluggable database name. For example, if I were to do a whole table space recovery, I would do this from the CDB. This is what I would do to restore the whole table space. This table space contains only one file and that file is currently no, open, not offline, so that's why the restore fails. But this is how I would have done it. I can show it to you uh, again. the PDB name colon the table space name and then recover it. So I, if I do a table space I can specify PDB tab, uh, colon table space name. If I do a data file individual data file I just specify the data file ID which is global across the whole database. Okay, that's here. I took the data file offline and then I restored the data file. So you can use ARM and commands at the CDB level without affecting other PDBs which are still open and active in that CDB. Thank you.